In our previous video, we have learned what is VTP and the functions of different VTP modes. In this video, we are going to do the practical. Hello friends, this is Abhishek here and welcome back to my channel Technical Tech. Let's the tech begin. As discussed in our previous video, there are three VTP mode that is VTP server, VTP client and VTP transparent. In this video, I am going to show you how to configure all these three modes on different switches. So for this, I am going to take four switch. So this is the switch number one, switch number two, switch number three and let's take one more switch and this is the switch number four okay now let's connect all these four switches so i'm going to use the crossover cable okay so once you connect all these switches to each other now the next step is you have to configure all this port as a trunk hence the first and the second port of this switch are connected to the second and the third switch so we have to configure both this port as a trunk so for that let's select the port and the command to configure a port as a trunk is switch port mode trunk hit enter done now let's select the second port and let's configure this port as a trunk hit enter so like this we have configured the first and the second port of the switch as a trunk now follow the same step and configure trunk on all the other switches by default all the switch are configured as a VTP server let me show you how For this, enter the command so VTP status. Hit enter. So, as you can see, by default, VTP mode is server. Okay. And its revision number is 0 because we have not made any changes to this switch. The time you start making changes to the switch, this revision number is keep going to increase. Okay. Done okay done now i will show you how to configure a switch as a server as we know that this switch is already a server anyhow if the switch is not a server then how to configure the switch as a server let's find out so the command to configure a switch as a server is vtp mode server hit enter so as you can see it says device mode already a vtp server right now let's assign a name to this server so the command for assigning a name is vtp domain after that you enter any name for example i'm going to enter the name as vtp server hit enter so we have successfully changed the name as vtp server now let's exit enter the command so vtp status hit enter so as you can see the vtp domain name has been successfully changed as vtp server got it so this is how easily you can change the name of your server now let's configure the second switch as a client so the command for configuring a switch as a client is vtp mode client hit enter now exit enter the command so vtp status hit enter so as here you can see the vtp mode has become a client and its domain name is vtp server domain name means this server name it is vtp server done this is the VTP server and we have assigned the name as VTP server and this information has been synced to the client and for this reason here it is showing you the name as VTP server. Now let's configure this third switch as a transparent. So enter the command conf t hit enter. 
so the command is btp mode transparent hit enter okay now let's exit enter the command so btp status hit enter so as you can see the btp operating mode has been changed as transparent and its domain name is btp server okay let's close this now let's go to client now let's configure this switch as a btp client btp mode client hit enter done so the first switch is configured as a server the second switch is configured as a client the third switch is configured as a transparent switch and the fourth switch is configured as a client okay so the role of this server is you can create delete or modify virtual lan using this server okay and the role of this client switch is it is only used for synchronization means whatever changes you are going to make to the server all the settings are going to sync to this vtp client the role of this vtp transparent switch is forwarding the advertisement means whatever changes you are going to make to this vtp server these settings are not going to affect on this vtp transparent switch but this vtp transparent switch are going to transfer those settings to the another switch which is connected to it okay now let me show you one live example so that it will be easy for you to understand so i'm going to create one virtual lan number 10 hit enter and assign the name as production hit enter done exit exit so hence we have made two changes to this server first changes is we have created a virtual lan and the second changes is we have assigned the name as a production and earlier see earlier we have no, earlier there was no changes so the revision number was 0 now let's recheck the revision number so the command is so vtp status hit enter so as you can see the revision number has been changed to 2 because we have made two changes number one is we have created virtual lan and second change is we have changed the name as production got it now let's see whether this information synced to this vtp client or not so the command is so vtp status hit enter so as you can see the revision number has been changed to number 2 now let's see the vlan we created or not so vlan hit enter so as you can see vlan number 10 is created its name is production got it now let's check the vtp transparent switch so let's rerun the command so vtp status hit enter so as you can see the current revision number is 0 means the settings are not synced with this transparent switch right this whatever changes you are going to make to this server is not going to affect on this transparent switch for this reason the revision number is 0 same like this if you enter the command so vlan and hit enter as you can see there is no virtual lan is created because this switch is not used for synchronization but instead of this whatever changes you are going to make on this vtp server this vtp transparent switch is going to forward those settings to the another switch which is connected to it so let's check the fourth switch whether the information has been synced to this switch or not so the command is so vtp status hit enter so as you can see the current revision number has been changed to number 2 it means whatever changes you have made to this server has been successfully synced with this switch let me show you show vlan hit enter so as you can see vlan number 10 is created its name is production so this is the work of btp transparent switch got it now let's take one example just imagine a situation 
if someone disconnect the VTP client switch from the server okay and configure this client as a server okay and after configuring as the server he or she deleted all the virtual LAN okay so the command is no VLAN then hit enter right exit after converting this switch as a server he has deleted all the virtual LAN after that what he did is again reconfigure this switch as a client now have you ever think what is gonna happen if you make those mistakes in networking let me show you what now again let's connect this switch to the server so we have deleted all the virtual LAN from this client switch right we have deleted all the virtual LAN after that we have connect this switch to the server now let's go to server and check for the VLAN so VLAN hit enter so as you can see all the virtual LAN which we have created has been deleted from the server too hence we have not deleted those information from the server but we have deleted those information from the client by converting this switch as a server so all this information has been synced to the server and this server has deleted all this information now let's see why it is happened so if you enter the command so vtp status hit enter see the current vtp status has been changed as 3 because you have made some changes to this vtp client that's why the revision number has been changed so once you connect this switch back to the server the server has checked for the revision number and it found that this particular client switch has the new revision number means this switch is having the latest configuration for this reason this all this information has been synced to this server and this server has deleted all of its virtual LAN now once it delete all of its virtual LAN again the role of server is forwarding the information to all the other switch so it is going to forward this information to another switch for example it is going to forward those information to the transparent switch but the transparent switch is not going to affect because the role of transparent switch is not for syncing but it is used to forward the information so this transparent switch is going to forward those settings to the client so i'm going to enter the command show vlan hit enter so as here you can see even from this switch all the virtual LAN has been deleted and if you check the VTP status hit enter see it has been updated as number 3 got it so why all these things happen this is happened because the VTP server is a server but it also act as a client in the same time so guys hope you have enjoyed watching this video then please like share and leave your very well feedback in the comment section below and for more amazing tech videos like this click here to subscribe to my channel technical tech and also press the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you will get a notification update